welcome to Gimme Apps here at Mall, the number one app store, GimmeApps.com. Download apps for any smartphone or tablet. If you're a developer, pay no developer fees, keep up to 100 senior profits, and we'll join us by PayPal whenever you want. No app store lets do that. Today we're checking out Grade Tracker Pro. It's a free app by Let's Learn for Android. This is a GPA calculator and an invaluable tool if you are a college student or a student any grade level. Here you can enter in your course grades to calculate your GPA. You can further edit that by adding test scores from your classes, papers, and things of the like. And you can calculate the grades for those classes. You can also predict grades by entering um, kind of like a what if I did this kind of scenario. You can enter your grades in easily. You can easily set up courses, almost no effort. You can do custom grade scales. You can automatically or manually back up your grades. You can drop grades, add extra credit. Uh, you have weighted grade categories. You can weight uh, your grades by points. And we did say you have grade and final exam prediction. And of course, you can edit your grades, round your averages. You can also account for all GPAs. You also get a mul you also get multiple semester support. And um, as the app puts it, pretty colors. Take a look at your startup screen here. We do heavily advise that you check out the video tutorial, which is included. Very nice touch uh, by accessing the settings and help menu by tapping on the question mark on the top right hand side of the screen. You have the semester data there, fall 2015. That's the default. You can change that if you want to do that. That semester is actually coming up, so great. You have the old credits. You can account for your GPA from previous classes. You have the manual backup that we just mentioned. The frequently asked questions, do check that out. The tutorial takes you to YouTube so you can check out a very quick tutorial on how to set up classes. We did that. You can contact the developer. Always do that. Share on Facebook. Like on Facebook. Rate the app and you get some information about the app. We're going to go back to the main screen there. You can see that we already did uh, enter in a course. We put finance. We just made up some stuff. We're going to show you how to do that and um, get right along. You also have the um, icon here with the uh, exclamation point there. See there? You see uh, Grade Tracker Pro version 4. Rate the app. Contact and you can close it out. So we're going to tap on a plus icon there. We're going to add in a course title. We'll call this, uh, let's call it development. We're just making stuff up here. All right. So we're going to add in development, whatever that means. And uh, we're going to tap on done. Now take a look. You can select the credit hours. So a credit, rather, you have three credits. You have 3.5, 4, 5, 5.5. You can go down to um, 2.0, 1.0 if you want to do that. All right? So we're going to keep it at three because that's pretty much standard, more or less. You can add the category. We're going to do that. So uh, how is the, uh, what is the class makeup? So we're going to put papers. We'll put that in there, whatever development means. All right, you can put the percentage of the grade, so the weight. So we'll make this up and say that's 60% uh, of the grade. You can also do it by fraction. You can weight by points. So we're going to add that 60%. And we'll put uh, tests. We'll um, add that category. So we'll have that in there to keep it simple for the review. And uh, we'll make that 40%. All right, so we're going to add that. We're good to go. And uh, once you're ready, you can save the course. So we're going to do that by tapping on Save Course. Now take a look. It's there. You see it says no grades. So now it's time to enter some grades. We're going to do that now. Now mind you, our GPA is uh, 4.0. That's our career GPA, our semester GPA, and your uh, semester average. Now consider your career GPA. We're talking about the entire time you've been in school and the semester being the semester that we're looking at now. So we're going to um, add the grades by simply tapping on the class, the course, and uh, we have papers, 60%. So let's add some papers. You see here it says you can edit the category. You can further edit if you want, and you can add grades. So we're going to Put in our first paper, we'll say, uh, we'll use percentages to keep things um, easy. We'll say, uh, let's got, say we got a 90 on our first paper, make it 95. And we can save our grade. You see it has the date there, very important. So you can keep track of other things that were going on during class. And we'll say we got, uh, let's say a 70, let's mix things up. We received a 70 on the second paper, or 75, not great. So we'll save that grade. You see so we have a B in the course. Let's go with the papers. Uh, we're going to say that we did, uh, let's say, a 4 out of 5 on our first test. There it is. We have papers there, actually. So we'll say we have a 4 out of 5 on the paper. Look, drop this grade. Ignoring calculations. You can do that if you want to do that. So um, long press here to remove this grade. There it is. And we're going to tap on Save. Now take a look at that. 80%. We can continue to add papers if we wanted to do that. Take a look here. Papers 2. We'll say that we got a 5 out of 5 on the next paper. And we'll keep that the way it is, and there it is. So we have two papers with a total score there of 95.24%. So there it is. We um, had our grades in there. Our grade is still an A. Take a look at that. 95.24% uh, in that area. It's saved. We're going to go back to our screen there. So look at this. Uh, 
in development we have an A, and in finance we have an A. Let's go back to um, just check that out. Uh, we added paper, so let's go with the test. We didn't add any tests. We're going to add a grade there. We'll say that we got, um, let's say we had an 80% on the first test. Let's go with 85. We'll save that. And now we're down to an A minus. Look at that, guys. And we can add a grade again in that category. Um, we'll say that we got 100. 100 on the second test. See, it says test 2. You can name the test, um, you can say test on uh, development, or you can say test on whatever subject. You can change the name if you want to do that and the date. It is August 29th, that's why you see that there. We're going to save the grade, and there it is. You can see that we're down to a regular A now. Alright, so once we're done with that, we can um, get out of there. And there's our grade, 94.14% and 94%. .0. And our semester average is a 4.0. You see our semester GPA and the career GPA. Let's mix things up. We'll add a new course. We'll call this uh, chemistry. That's the example they use in the uh, tutorial. So we'll put that in there. We'll just, there we go, chemistry. Time for course. There it is. We can select the credit hours. Let's mix things up. Let's say it's uh, four credits. All right, and we can add categories. In the uh, tutorial, they put lab, so we'll do that. You see there, you have percentage. We'll leave that alone, and uh, we have that. We'll add that, and we'll put um, exams. And there it is. We have that, and we'll add. All right, so we have our course. We're going to save the course now for chemistry. The weight of the categories did not sum to 100. We forgot about that, so um, let's go back in there and tap on cancel. With the lab, we need to have that in there. The percentage will be, uh, let's say, 10%. We completely forgot about that. Very important. And the exams, we'll say, are 90%. There it is. Now we're ready to go. So let's put in some grades. Let's say we did horribly in this course. So we're going to tap on lab. Let's say um, on our first lab, we received a 1 out of 5. We'll save that grade. F, no good. And let's say on the exam... Uh, we got a 95. Let's say we did a good job on the exam. So here we are, 95%. Save the new grade. We're down to a B plus, guys. So now that we have that, let's go in and check out our overall grade. So we're down to a 3.7 GPA and a 91.44% semester average. And there are the grades in. We're almost eight minutes into this, guys. Very um, valuable tool to have as a student, maybe even as a teacher. You may want to help somebody um, calculate their grade overall. If you are a school teacher, you may want to sit, might want to sit down with a student and say, look, if you do this, this is what you'll end up, end up with. So this is a great tool to have um, on your phone. Just pull it out and get going. Guys, we spent a lot of time on this app. So this is Grade Tracker Pro, free app by Let's Learn for Android. Do check it out. We went over all the features here. Many of them, there are many more. Um, do check it out. Download it. Let us know what you think about it. Comment on the video. Contact the developer. And they're already up to um, version 4. So keep that in mind. You are checking out our YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash app. More. Give me access to the world's number one independent app store. Download an Android app. Check it out. iPhone and Windows phone showcases. If you're a developer, check this out. You pay nothing to sign up. You pay no developer fees. You get to keep up to 100% of your profits and withdraw your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store anywhere. Let's do that. This is Great Tracker Pro free for Android. We hope you enjoyed this review. Let's read it, guys. Until next time.